Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Uh, hi guys, uh, my name's Connor, and I'm an idiot. Alright, let's go. Uh, Swedish food and what you should eat in Sweden. I was watching something else that's irrelevant. That's why I'm holding in my lap. Okay, let's go. Go. Hey there, fellow travelers. Hey. Mark here with Walter's World. And behind you guys me can't is even the... see. Hold on, sorry. Jesus, I'm all over the place. There we go. Yeah, we're good. All right, go. Fish Church. The fish market here in Gothenburg, Sweden. And today what we have for you are what you should eat and drink Let's go. when you come to Sweden. Okay. So before we get started on our list, what you need to know is that Sweden has very good restaurants, so you will eat well. They can be a bit pricey. So what I recommend is go during the lunchtime and get the lunch menus and the lunch specials to save yourself some cash. But what should we eat when we come here that's Swedish? Well, the first thing, obviously, you've got to have Swedish meatballs, or mm. as they call them here in Swedish, in Sweden, meatballs. Yes, you will have the, the Swedish meatballs, and yes. So some nice uh, pickled cucumbers here. So pickles. Pickled cucumber. Some vinegar and whatnot. Uh, these look to be some kind of berries. Not exactly sure. But some meatballs with a nice, nice sauce with some mashed potatoes. That's all I need. There's gravy with it, mashed potatoes, and things like that. But it is one of those things you got to try when you're here because they actually are pretty good. And yes, they are better than the ones you get at Ikea in the U.S., okay? So that's the first thing. Ikea get some meatballs. meatballs. Now, the second thing you're going to get when you're here is on top of those meatballs or on the side, you'll see a little, like, ramekin of lingonberries. Lingonberries are these little red berries you see in lots of Swedish cuisines. You go to Ikea, I think it's in half the pictures, they have some lingonberries. And these lingonberries, it's like a kind of a sweet, tarty berry. It's kind of a combination of stuff that they put on a lot of t on the top of a lot of foods. So you might have some of those lingonberries on your pork or on the side of your fish. Okay, so don't eat them straight up. Just you put a little bit on. Fish or, or, you know, just eat them plain or in a soda or on top of your meatballs. You will see that a lot out here. So that's the second thing is the lingonberries. You will eat them. You will see them. You may even drink them. So that's the second thing you're going to have when you're here. The third thing you're going to have when you're here is you're going to see it a lot of places, especially at breakfast at the hotel, is their cracker bread or the kanaka bread. It's basically like a big, huge cracker bread and you put butter on top of it and you'll see it all over. It's a very traditional dish. Okay. okay. Now, the fourth thing you're going to have when you come here is the fish because the fish here in Sweden is fantastic. And my favorite fish is the salmon here, whether it's grilled or you have it like in gravlax, which is kind of like the stuff you have at breakfast, kind of like thinly sliced salmon, but you're going to have salmon here. It is very good. The fifth thing you should have. Sorry, I heard that lock, like the word lock is one of the oldest written words in northern europe or something like that like it means fish or, or means salmon I, I think it's like one of the oldest known written words uh in europe I, i'm not exactly sure about that when you're here is another fish and it's actually a much more popular much more traditional kind of fish and that's sil or you might not you might know it as herring yes pickled herring that is a very popular thing here you will see it in the in the hotels for breakfast you'll see it on the menus you'll see people talking about it on the train yes i think i'll have some sil tonight strong. yes pickled herring is very popular here now the thing is it's not just one kind there's lots of different kinds of pickled herring different kind of sauces they put it in i was in stockholm with a friend of mine and we kind of had like a sampler of four different four or five different herrings you know what? Most of them I did like. It was pretty good. Four different, four or five different herrings. That pineapple. You know what? Most of them I did like. It was pretty good, but it is an acquired taste. And one of the things, when you have your herring, you have to have a snop or schnapps, you know, alcohol. You have to have a snop with it. And so you do it and you shoot the, the, the snop with the herring. It's just kind of one of those things you have to do, okay? Okay. The sixth thing you want to do when you do come here to Sweden and eat is eat their candies. Swedes are very much in love with their candies. They eat tons of candy. I mean, Saturday is like Saturday candy day here. It's crazy. But the thing is, you'll go to 7-Elevens, you'll go to all these stores, and you'll see all the candy, normal candy you see in the U.S. where you have the candy bars. But also, you'll see a place where you can grab a bag, scoop up some candies and put it in the bag, so go taffy. weigh it, and then pay for it, okay? They do love their sweets. I will warn you, though, their favorite kind of candy is black licorice. Oh, God. Just licorice. Come on, guys. Which, if you're from the U.S., 
no one likes. No. Okay, so it's a very kind of salty, bitter kind of candy. Not a and fan. it kind of can shock people that, oh, this is their sweet candy. It's not sweet, but that's the most popular one. But don't worry, there's lots of other ones out there for you to enjoy. Understood. Now, if you're looking to have something else aside from candy for your sweets, I suggest having some Swedish pastries. Specifically, I recommend having a cinnamon rolls here, okay? The Knebrula, or the Knebrula, um, basically cinnamon roll, that's what you want to have. It'll have like really big pieces of sugar on top. It is fantastic. All throughout Scandinavia, like they have very good pastries, first. especially their cinnamon rolls are really good, especially here. And if you want to be really Swedish about it, get your cinnamon roll and a cup of coffee and you're right, gonna fit right in. Except if you look like me, you don't really look beautiful and thin and sexy and stylish, but otherwise you'll fit right in. The eighth thing to eat when you're here is if you want to try something a little bit different, try the blood pudding, yes blood flour mixed together with some stuff fry it up and then put, of course put lingonberries on top so ooh, i can eat blood with lingonberries yes that is one of those kind of weird things they do have here that you don't you don't find it everywhere but if you get a chance why not try to say yep i ate blood pudding i ate blood yep and i've had it before too so it's not that bad oh, is it? it's not that good but mm -hmm. it's not that bad now, okay. the ninth thing you should eat when you're here, and one I guess it's more that you should know you're going to eat here, are potatoes. Swedes love their potatoes. My Mashed, favorite food. boiled, whatever. But you might not know how to eat the little tiny potatoes you get. You don't just pop them in your mouth, okay? They're not like olives, all right? The little tiny potatoes, what you're going to do is you take a few from the little bowl, put it on your plate, and then smash them a little bit and put the butter on top you'll be fine, okay? Just take my word for it. That's one of the big things. You will have lots of potatoes when you're here, but the little tiny ones are the best. So just smash them, a little butter, you're good to good go. Idea. Now, the 10th thing that Make I want to talk sandwich. about you should eat is, if you're going out drinking and you want some late night food, what do I get for Red a quick stat. snack or a, or a post-drinking meal? Uh, land sort lager, uh, horn still honey amber. Or if you want a cheap little eat, there's kind of three things that I recommend. Okay, one system balajet. Go have a kebab. Yes, I know it's not Swedish, but the kebabs here, it'll say kebab med brod. You have a kebab, which is you know meat inside with lettuce. Swedish tomato. kebab, kebab. Sweden. Okay, all right. So you guys have kebabs and sauces and a pita bread. Eat that, you'll be good to go. They're usually very good everywhere. You see them a lot of places in Europe. More the ones in Sweden, Eastern actually, I found thing, better right? than the ones I found in other parts of Scandinavia. So that's one thing. Second thing you can have is a Swedish hot dog or Swedish sausages. I'm not a big fan. Scandinavians love their hot dogs, and I would put Swedish hot dogs at the last, okay? So not Tell the me. best, but again, quick, cheap snack. And the third thing you might want to get if you're looking for a quick eat or, you know, a post-drinking meal is go to Max. Max is the kind of local McDonald's. chain of fast food hamburger joints. And what you want to get is the Max Original, okay? The original burger. Because the Max Burger is their big thing is it's got this special sauce on top, the Max Original sauce. Pastrami. It is pretty good. And if you don't want to go to McDonald's because you know what it's like, but you want something like that, Max makes a good post-drinking hangover greasy remedy for what you're going to do okay nice. so those are three little eating things that you can have for your drinking or a cheap little midday eat okay now the 11th thing i want to say about food here is there is actually quite a few different seasons of eating here in sweden for example late summer you're going to see crayfish or crawfish however you like to call it and the swedes love that stuff and they'll go crazy for never it. had it other kind of things you look at in terms of christmas time you're going to have a couple drinks you should try one's a soda crawfish uh, i think you normally think of like the deep south of the u.s when you think of crawfish uh, i've never had it i'd love to though i love lobster Amazing. One of the things you look at in terms of Christmas time, you're gonna have a couple drinks you should try. One's a soda called Yulmust. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm messing up the name, but it's a special soda Yulmust. that comes out of the, at Christmas that you're gonna drink. And if you like something a little bit stronger, give you keep you warm in those cold winters, you wanna have Glug, which is like a Glug. mulled wine. Glug, Glug. So if you've gone to Germany for the Christmas markets, their hot wine or their glue vine, it's kind of like that, okay? And then you have a Sustruming, which I'm sure Sustruming. I'm messing up the pronunciation, which is, I think, technically the stinkiest fish Everyone in the world. Everyone knows about Sustruming. And yes, you can get that here. Technically, you usually eat it in August or something like that, or the end of summer. Yeah, this is how you do it, guys. You open it underwater, okay? You open it, you get a bucket, and you open it underwater, and then when you open it, you break the seal, you pull it out, 
and you smother it on a little kind of Swedish bread with some potato and a sour cream kind of summer. And the thing is, it stinks so bad that apparently you're supposed to tell the neighbors and invite them over or I guess warn them to get away because it's going to be so bad. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so those are some of the things that I think you could try to eat when you are here in Sweden. I mean, there is some really good food. There's some really good people. There's a really good time. So if you get a chance to get out, go eat, go meet some locals and sing some songs with them in the summertime or sit quietly and eat your meal without talking at other times. Anyway, if you want to learn more about visiting Sweden, check us out our website at waldersworld.com if you want to see more videos like this why don't you click that subscribe button down there and you get more videos like this five things you love and hate about sweden 10 things to eat sweden in norway versus USA. right in your news feed here on your i'll have to give that a shot too all right cool awesome video i have never been to scandinavia i've only been to europe twice and yeah, the second time was kind of driving around more and um, never got to stay in one place anytime. But I'd like to go kind of, you know, my other trips or family trips kind of like on my own and and no doubt focus a lot on history stuff. But um, visit, you know, Copenhagen or Oslo or or uh, uh, Stockholm be be cool for sure. And I, I'd try something. I, I don't want to say I have an iron stomach, but. It's not like I have any allergies or I'm, I'm afraid to, to try something I, I haven't before. I would. Awesome. Hope you guys are doing well. If not, you'll be good soon. Don't worry. Keep your head up. See you next time.